Obviously me, I'm wearing fucking green. If we go in there, we look around, done. You film them? Yeah. I'm actually going to film this so these guys die. Alex Fuck you. You can send me the footage, don't worry, I'll put it on YouTube channel. Yeah. Aiden shits himself and dies. Yeah. <laughs> Smaller than I remember. That's because you've got bigger. Hold it. Who's ready to see a real ghost? I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Simon Miller, patient at DAIS Healthcare. Therapy possession number... No, I'm sorry, uh, do we have to do that with the camera? Simon, you know why we're using the cameras. To monitor your progress. To look back and see which topics I need to explore for the next session. And to help you get all your emotions out. You said it yourself, remember? You don't like writing it down in the journal. So you're speaking to the camera instead? I don't mind the channel if I can read and write, but I can't, remember? What's going on with you? Nothing. Just... I had a long night. Nightmares again? You're not taking the medication I'm prescribing? I don't need pills. I just need people to shut the hell up so I can get some sleep at night. You're hearing voices again? Simon? Who's talking to you? I think I'm crazy because I can hear voices. It's not craziness. It's just a memory. And because the voices I hear are my friends, were, were my friends. <clears throat> there, hasn't, there hasn't been a single day without me missing one. This is alright. This is alright. I mean, uh, I read your files. Your therapist thinks that, um, we should record your session. Is, is this okay here? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Alright. Good. Well, um, I'm not going to be around the bush here. There's a reason why I call you Dan. My name is uh, Joshua Thompson and I work for... Well, let's just say I'm one of the staff to, to help you. I don't trust them. I don't trust anyone these days. People are not trustworthy. If you can make someone's life better, then you're everyone's best friend, you know? But if you have a problem, then people don't want to hear about it, but they don't care. Family don't care, friends don't care, the doctors don't care, it's not their problem. It's fine, I can talk to them about it, it's the camera and they won't see. Tell me about your friend, Simon. The voices in your head? What do they say? Yeah, my friends most of the time. Are they dangerous? No. What kind of question is that? I was just wondering. Wondering what? Who's the violent one in your head? It says here you can get quite a bit of tempo as the right button is push. You put one of your um, therapists in a the hospital because of your violent outburst. 
She was screaming things. What was she screaming? Simon? What did she say? She called me a killer. Said I'd done bad things to good people that... When I, when I tried to explain my story, she called me a liar. And the more I tried to explain my story, the more she talked over me and... I suddenly heard all these voices telling me to, to do what's right, to be the hero. A hero? Yeah, because only heroes stand up to villains, and fight for the right thing, and uh, I always stand up for the right thing. I'm not a villain, I'm a hero. Simon. You do understand why you're here, right? No. You're diagnosed with schizophrenia. Your mind is... It's different to other people's. And it's dangerous, Simon. Very dangerous. Look, you had two options here. You could even spend the rest of your life trapped in here. Could you kindly tell me? about why you're in here? The event that happened with you and your friends? Well, it was a couple of months ago. Me and my friends were bored. It was hot and we couldn't stay around each other's houses. And, you know, none of us had anything to do, so Josh said, um, you know, why don't we go to the old abandoned warehouse? And naturally we followed him. He was kind of like the group leader, so. I can still remember how it felt to walk on the weeds and the broken glass. We knew we weren't allowed in, so we had to sneak in through the back. Um, but we didn't know what that'd be. Little did we know that little did we know there would be bodies, and we, we panic. We, we all start freaking out and I don't remember what happened after that I just saw something attacking my friends and they died it broke me what were their names excuse me your friends what were their names you remember them right of course uh, I'm a little all over the place sorry there, there was Josh and Adam... Struggling? I'm fine. Josh, Adam, Ollie, and... Jordan. They were my friends. Okay? How did you meet them? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Please, Simon, I have to know the exact nature of a relationship with your friends. If you hold sentimental feelings towards them, and then it could explain why witnessing their deaths could cause such mental illnesses. Of course I have mental illness. You, you can't witness people die and not have a mental illness. And plus, they were my best friends. These people were my best friends. I, I, I didn't want any of them to die. I, I, it just makes us so mad. I mean, me. It makes me mad. And we, we, we can't help... Simon? You're getting very defensive and repetitive mandatory questions. Of course, I'm being defensive. I don't trust you. I don't trust any of you. So I have I'm done so much now. for these people. I, I didn't want them to die. I didn't mean for any of these people to die. I didn't... Don't yeah, don't throw anything in there. Do you want me to go in first? Do you want me to go in first? Let me go in first. No, oh, no, I've actually been in there first. Why do I have a joint camera? I know the voices aren't real, but that doesn't make it any less real. I try and block them out, but the more I do, the angrier they get. And when they scream, they scream. <laughs> it makes me mad. Knowing that I've done bad in my life because of this, <laughs> these voices, and they told me that I killed those people, that the people
people I called my friends weren't my friends. I made the whole thing up. Creating this, this whole story, almost, you know. They don't even talk to me about it anymore. Because every time they do, I get mad. I keep forgetting about it, you know? Like, these voices. I was their friend. They were my friend. <laughs> what a crappy year. Simon Miller, patient at DAIS Healthcare. Therapy session number 193. Date, 23rd of January 2019. Patient is here for his weekly therapy session. So Simon, how are you feeling? I'm doing great, thank you. But, uh... Do we have to do it with the cameras? What's the other option? Well, I'm starting the programme. It's pretty big. It involves people with mental issues who suffer horrible traumas. Such as yourself. I will have to interview you properly for it, of course, and cannot tell you the details unless you pass. But I believe it can and will change the world. So stay here, be useful to no one, and just rot away. Or join me on my quest to make something good. It's up to you, hero.